Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what schizophrenia is, its signs and symptoms, schizophrenia and epilepsy, schizophrenia-like psychosis of epilepsy, postictal psychosis, and erectile psychosis, and treatment options. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. According to the American Psychiatric Association, Schizophrenia is a chronic brain disorder that affects less than 1% of the U.S. population. Symptoms of schizophrenia can include delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech, trouble with thinking, and lack of motivation. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, a diagnosis for schizophrenia occurs in the late teens to early 30s. Diagnosis for males often occurs in their late adolescence to early 20s. Diagnosis for females often occurs in their early 20s to early 30s. Onset of symptoms can start to be noticed in mid-adolescent years. However, it is rare for anyone to be diagnosed with schizophrenia before late adolescence years. Symptoms of schizophrenia varies for each person. Studies have shown as the person ages, the incidence of severe psychotic symptoms decrease or is not taking medication, using drugs and or alcohol, and high levels of stress can increase symptoms. According to Mayo Clinic, common symptoms may include delusions, hallucinations, disorganized thinking, extremely disorganized or abnormal mode of behavior, and negative symptoms. Individuals who battle epilepsy are at higher risk for developing schizophrenia. When families have a history of psychosis and epilepsy, they are at higher risk for developing schizophrenia as well as schizophrenia-like psychosis. Some patients experience what is referred to as schizophrenia-like psychosis of epilepsy, which is having symptoms similar to schizophrenia, but not the actual diagnosis. Studies have shown that seizures and schizophrenia can share some genetic or environmental causes. Individuals with schizophrenia and epilepsy have a high mortality rate. In the article, An Erectile Psychosis of Epilepsy, more than one in four people with both epilepsy and schizophrenia will die between the ages of 25 to 50. Schizophrenia-like psychosis of epilepsy occurs in around 7% of patients battling epilepsy and is more common in patients with seizure activity in the temporal lobes rather than primary generalized seizures. Symptoms of schizophrenia-like psychosis of epilepsy are delusions, hallucinations, first-rank symptoms, and thought disorder. Postictal psychosis is defined as an episode of psychosis occurring after a cluster of seizures. It is common and may be associated with profound morbidity, including chronic psychosis. Common symptoms of postictal psychosis include delusions, auditory and visual hallucinations, mood changes, and aggressive behavior. Anorectal psychosis refers to psychosis that occurs in clear consciousness in persons with epilepsy with temporal onset not during or immediately following a seizure. Anorectal psychosis can be brief or chronic, with chronic cases resembling symptoms of schizophrenia. Examples can be religious delusion, sudden mood swings, and catatonic states. Anorectal psychosis often starts after many years of active temporal lobe epilepsy. Patients who experience an erectile psychosis requires both a neurologist and psychiatrist to treat the symptoms, 
Both must be selective with any anticonvulsive or antipsychotic medication due to not just controlling seizure activity, but due to the negative side effects both classes of medications have. Doctors need to be concerned when treating epilepsy and schizophrenia. While epilepsy is treated with anticonvulsants, schizophrenia is treated with antipsychotics. According to Mayo Clinic, there are two classes of antipsychotics used to treat schizophrenia, first-generation and second-generation antipsychotics. First-generation antipsychotics have significant neurological side effects and can cause irreversible damage. First-generation antipsychotics include chlorpromazine, flufenazine, haloperidol, and fierfenazine. Second-generation medications pose a lower risk of serious side effects. Second-generation medications include aripiprazole, ercenapine, brexpiprazole, caripazine, colazepine, iloperidone, lorazidone, olanzapine, paliperidone, quantiampine, risperidone, and ziprazidone. Therapy to help improve mental wellness and social skills are important for individuals battling schizophrenia and epilepsy. Common treatments include individual therapy, social skills training, family therapy, vocational rehabilitation, and supported employment. In conclusion, schizophrenia is a chronic brain disorder that affects less than 1% of the U.S. population. Diagnosis for schizophrenia occurs in late teens to early 30s, males in their late adolescence to early 20s, and females in their early 20s to early 30s. Onset of symptoms can start to be noticed in mid-adolescent years. Individuals who battle epilepsy are at higher risk for developing schizophrenia. Individuals battling both epilepsy and schizophrenia have a high mortality rate. Different types of psychosis can affect patients battling both epilepsy and schizophrenia. Treatments such as medication, therapy, social skills training, and vocational training can help people who are battling epilepsy and schizophrenia. To learn more about schizophrenia and epilepsy, please check out the resources used in our presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.